Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Data Science University with Balavi Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Panda Street Code Easy 1322 Adds Performance. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram and LinkedIn YT page communities for further updates and discussions. Scan here to join the communities. And let's solve together the problem. Let us see this table. They have given an ads table such that different different ads has been given some unique unique ID. Okay. And it is watched by which person? The user. Different different. So which ad was viewed by which one? Okay. Let us say ad one and user one. Okay. If it is shown whether it was clicked or he has just seen it, he has viewed it, but didn't click it. And other thing is, he just blandly ignored it. Okay. Now they want to calculate something called CTR. Okay. So click through rate means out of all the times he has seen the ad, how many times he has clicked it. Okay. Let me come here. let us come we can see this is add one add one add one okay there are four add ones but what are the respective actions clicked ignored viewed clicked ignored means he didn't even check clicked or view means he has seen it okay both the cases he has seen it viewed also seen it clicked also seen it but in a clicked case after viewed it he opted for that okay both the case when it is viewed also he has seen it when it is clicked also he has seen it but after seeing the ad he also clicked it so these are the two scenarios viewed and clicked are the scenarios where he have seen and ignored is bluntly ignored okay now how many things are seen so let me ignore this ignored case so how many case he has seen it it simply means all the cases except ignore total cases are three how many cases he has clicked it one and two so two by three similarly for everything okay let us come for for example three 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 okay viewed is there click how many scenarios are there which are clicked I mean seen means all the cases except ignored total cases are two except ignored out of two how many are clicked only one so one by two means 50 percent if you multiply into 100 two by three into 100 means 66 percent so what I need to do here I need to group by step one should be group by AD and do the counting of clicked rows this is what Counting of clicked rows by clicked plus viewed rows count. So let me use a smart technique. Okay, because I can't do it. Let me write it like this way. So when I want all the cases of count of clicked plus view, I will do like this. I will say mm, let me come here. I will say whenever it is ignored, let me call it as 0. All the other cases, let me call it as 1. What? Everything except 0. Then up, do the sum. We will get the same as count of that rows. Similarly, for the above thing, whenever it is clicked, let me call it as 1. Everything else, let me call it as 0. Now do the sum. You will get the thing. So what I will do for the numerator part, I will check where the action is equal to clicked and we will do the sum. And for the denominator part, I will check where our clicker is not equal to ignored. Do the sum. Okay. So let me come here. 
we can write it here only let me say df return df so ads is the table let us group by ads using id and let me apply some logic let me take the lambda mm, some input i okay where i so means i am grouping by this adid column for ads table and applying some logic okay this lambda will take what apply means it is a function where you can apply any logic with column wise so lambda is a function where i i is what the ads only i am taking as i so take the i table and i table action if it is equal to clicked it will give me what true or false okay true or false dot sum it will give me the count of clicked rows okay similarly denominator not equal to ignored Right, yeah. Yes, so let me keep on more bracket. Okay, now let me return. Okay, as it is a group by object, let me reset index. See, we got it. Now let me call it as name equal to. Let me say CDR. Now, what is the difference? Whenever some rows are not there, it is null. Okay, that things we can simply write fill NA with a zero. And what else should I improve? Okay, I should multiply into hundred. Still, what I need to do? I think I need to do a round off np dot round values are cursed still what is wrong okay okay they want to sort the table okay df dot sort values how they want to sort it by first using ctr next using adid but some order also they given. What is that? Ascending. First thing should be what? In descending order. So I will keep false. Ascending false means descending order. And ADID should be in ascending. So let me keep it as true. That's it. I think it is clear. Okay, let me check for all the test cases. Yes, our code output has uh, successfully passed all the test cases and we have solved the problem. If you want the code query which I have written, it will be available in this GitHub repository. The link will be available in the description below. Okay, along with the links of YouTube, GitHub and the lead code link will be available here. If you are further interested in learning data science, analytics, ML, NLP, CV or generative AI stuff, please fill in this Z form below. My team will be reaching out to you soon. And if you are preparing for any data science interviews, do check out this playlist. It will be greatly helping your interview process. And for further any questions or doubts which you face while solving these questions, please shoot it down in the comment section using this hashtag. I will be solving all of them. And until then, keep practicing guys.